Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are checking out Avatar The Last Airbender. We're on book three. This is episode nine called Nightmares and Daydreams. And boy, if it's like anything like the last episode, I think we're in for a real treat. Well, it's right before the big eclipse. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able for you guys to see what <laughs> Aang has in. to go through on the eve of the big eclipse. Uh, it says right here on our <laughs> description on the eve of the eclipse. So it's just not spoiling it too much. No, no spoilers. Look at nightmares and daydreams. Are we still watching like an animated <laughs> series, or is this some like Netflix horror series? The last uh, last Check one was pretty creepy with blood bending. Apparently, mm -hmm. is a new thing. Uh, they didn't uh, didn't include that in the elements earlier, but uh, no, they say whichever, earth, wind, water, fire direction. <laughs> this is gonna go. I'm sure it's gonna be good. So. All right, so then without further ado, let's go. The official rendezvous point for the invasion force. And we're here four days ahead of schedule. The invasion's in four days? I'm a little nervous. Let's just calm down and... I guess. He didn't bring a sleeping bag? <laughs> I'd be sleeping on Appa. Yeah, I was gonna say. What? 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 Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. Daydreams and nightmares. Uh, you are not even wearing pants. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the nightmares we all have. Uh, now it's gonna get weird. It was just a dream, Momo. <laughs> I better keep training. Fresh fruit, Prince Zuko? Head massage? Hot towel? <laughs> What's going on here? You didn't take the palanquin. I'm just going to May's house. It's not a prince's place to walk anywhere, sir. Oh, I see what we're getting into here. That's <laughs> right there. Jesus, come <laughs> on. This kickboxer? I thought he was going to be kicking his shins into it. There is such a thing as overtraining. <gasps> <laughs> oh, so jelly. I better spend the whole day training. <laughs> hey, remember to eat something, kid. Oh, he's gassed out. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, Good night, I'd Katara. absolutely be sleeping on Appa's tail. But yeah, like flat furry tail oh. like that. Good night, Momo. It's probably then really Good night, Appa. Go to sleep wiry. already. Be wiry, oh. like. Hog hair. That's true. Drop a comment below if you know what Appa's first texture is. So he's got pants this time. <laughs> <laughs> this time I brought pants. But are you prepared for your mathematics test? Ah! <laughs> oh no! I forgot yes! all about the math Classic. test! <laughs> <It's got> an <laughs> I've got to be ready. Oh, he's going to do this every night and be wiped out by the time the eclipse comes. Dang, it's the middle of the night. But I forgot my pants in my math test. Dang, <laughs> <laughs> sleep for me. Do you think you can find a fresh fruit tart for the lady? I guess there are some nice perks that come with being royalty. Though there's annoying stuff too, like that all day war meeting coming up. What are you talking about? I assumed you were going too. I guess I wasn't invited. Oh. Oh. Yeah, all day war meetings don't sound that great, no. Wake up, sleepyhead. You overslept. You missed the invasion. Oh, it's another classic one. You oversleep. Overslept and missed it. He's a <laughs> flying hippo. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> In one of my dreams, you were running from Fire Nation soldiers trying to climb this cliff. I'm a great climber. <laughs> Don't drink that! <laughs> In my dream, we were right in the middle of the invasion. He's going nuts. We died because of your tiny bladder. You really need to get a grip. Just had to throw that in. <laughs> it's like every time I think about how stressed I am, I just end up more stressed. That's because you gotta fight the Fire Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And you better win or we're all done for. Sokka! <laughs> yeah, good job. Get ready to be de-stressified. Feel your chi pad. Little DDP yoga here? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Like I'm in the Fire Lord's palace and he's shooting a bunch of fireballs at me. Why don't you get right to <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> A psychiatrist? Fight the Fire Lord in a few days. 
tell me more about this <laughs> fire lord. <laughs> That's the... I'm supposed to defeat him and save the world. Want to try screaming into this pillow? <laughs> 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 the sheep just sits there. <laughs> doesn't even care. So I guess there's a big war meeting coming up, huh? I'm certain Dad wants you there. Just go to the meeting. I'm not going. What you need is a good old-fashioned back pound and... <laughs> there's one other thing we can try. Acupuncture. <laughs> you know what will make you feel better? Ordering some servants around. Ready for a good night's sleep? Uh, I kind of think I sort of might slightly feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't seen him for a while. <laughs> That's not creepy. <laughs> 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 they just get worse and worse. I'm going to stay awake straight through to the invasion. Ugh, that's not a that's good idea. Not. That's a terrible idea. Aang, staying up all night can't be good for you. I'm doing it for you, Katara. I love you. Whoa. Oh! Is this really happening? Of course not. What are we doing? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. I was just saying you should take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Baby. <laughs> you're my forever girl. The Fire Lord said he would not start until you arrive, sir. Put him up, Fire Lord! <laughs> ah, she's <laughs> rusty. You are really starting to lose it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> are just a few plums short of a fruit pie. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> We're all starting to get a little worried about you. You've been awake too long. You've got to take care. <laughs> 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 Stand <laughs> Nightmares. Staying awake is the best way for me to deal with it. Leave the cat alone. Who asked you? Well, let's go right now. <laughs> He's got three swords. <laughs> Four of them. We're all on the same side. <laughs> Chuck is saying it is good. <laughs> Jeez. God, are we supposed to be watching this uh, after a few sarsaparillas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sheep are surrounding him. I just need to jump in a cold waterfall. <laughs> Hang's not doing well. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Everyone welcomed me. My father had saved me a seat, but I wasn't me. <laughs> An imaginary bed made out of clouds. We made it for you. A good night's sleep will probably take the credit. <laughs> All the sheep. But I can't. You've been training for this since the day we met. You can do this. You're the man, Twinkle Toes. Thanks, guys. I think I am ready. Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even wearing pants. You're not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> My royal part are showing. What? <laughs> Oh. oh, that's the buildup. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely something to be said for overtraining and being nervous and just knowing when you're ready to do something. Uh, I think I remember hearing a story about Usain Bolt when he broke one of the, you know, one of the many records that he did. Like he slept till like 11 o'clock, woke up, ate like a 20 piece chicken nugget and then went and broke the record. It's just like <laughs> once you've trained to a certain point, like you're ready, there's nothing more you need to do. So that was kind of funny because Aang's in the same situation. I mean, I'm not sure now if he's 100% ready, but he's as ready as he's going to be and he needs to just take care of himself physically, get some rest, be ready to go, uh, that sort of thing. And 
you know, I think anybody who's been nervous for something, a big event or whatever, you know, we all go through those same exact things, whether you have the dream about, you know, your pants or the math test or, oh, yeah. you know, whatever. I remember one of the first, uh, prepared. one of the first uh, <laughs> internships I had after college, like I was so nervous the night before, I don't think I slept at all. And like, I got there and I was like a zombie, but uh, yeah, so we've all been there. This was a great episode that we can all, I think, relate to for sure. Nah, nervousness is for the week. <laughs> okay, I've been nervous before too. No. <laughs> but no, this was, uh, I like this episode because y- you saw how much stress he was putting on himself compared to Prince Zuko, where it seemed like, oh, carefully, carefree, yeah. just come on, sit next to me at the meeting, see how it goes and everything. And it's going to be the biggest day he had that it come to, uh, biggest day to date was him trying to fight, you know, the Fire Lord, but. Hey, there's no fire bending. There's going to be an eclipse, yeah. so it's not that Aang doesn't know any fire bending. It's it's a mute factor. So we're going to see how this goes, and you know, hopefully, this night of rest helps him out. Mm, he needs it. Yeah, preparation um, for something like this. Um, Mason Quinn hit the nail on the head. Once the work is done, it's pretty much done, and you get a few days. There's there's last minute stuff you can do. Look. Uh, if if you have a a math test and somebody says hey it's four days away look that's a it's a long time to learn oh, stuff mm-hmm. you know there's uh, there's time to polish up but uh, when it's things like preparing for a battle look if you were a, a warrior and or, uh, or or a marksman or something like that and they're like hey you got this big battle coming up how long do I have to prepare four days uh, <laughs> yeah the the nerves could kick in pretty hard not to say that if you weren't prepared the nerves still wouldn't kick in knowing that um, you have a big moment ahead of you um, but when the work is done there's there's only so much you can do and uh, anytime any sort of physical and mental battle is going to take place if you're um if you're not sleeping, it's going to be rough on you, which is, you know, it's it's interesting because when you, you think about, like, soldiers and stuff like that, I always wonder what that's like, like how you sleep when you know battles are coming up. Um, you know, I, I didn't serve in the military. I have friends who do, and I know some of them have been in some nasty stuff where they're like, we didn't sleep for, like, two, three days in a row. Mm. Or, you, you know, you're propped up against the wall. You doze off when you can for a couple hours. But, you um you know, modern, you know, modern, uh, I don't want to say warfare, but, you know, modern, the way they do things in battle, I think is a little different than old school. Like you look back, like, you know, when we watched Last Samurai, when it's like, hey, uh, tomorrow at noon, we're, uh, we're meeting in the middle of the battlefield, yeah. or, you know, even like the Civil War, or even, you know, World War Two. you know, even though it may not have been planned on both sides, when you knew a big day was coming, D-Day, for example, mm-hmm. um, how nervous were you, you know, mm-hmm. um, I think of the moving Savior Private Ryan, and I know you guys, you know what, um, we, I've seen it before, these gentlemen haven't, it's still a potential for the channel, so I won't get too much into it, but just um, so many nerves um, for big things, but look, it's it has to be different <coughs> when it's going in to battle, because there's so much on the line, you know, you think of stuff like <coughs> math tests, or first day at the new job, or the yep. typical things that most people get nervous and lose sleep over, versus like, hey, I gotta save the world. Uh, <laughs> it's a little so, bit different. Like, look, does he need to sleep? Absolutely, to be able to perform. But uh, I'm never think. nervous to fail my math test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was always. Uh, it was always. Uh, I didn't study and I had a test coming up. And I, there's times I've woken up. Like, you ever had one of those like good naps or sleeps where you wake up? And it's like Sunday, and you're like not. You don't know what day it is. Like, oh, what time I don't. Is. I don't have school today. It's Sunday, and then you're like, wait a minute, I'm 43. <laughs> yeah, I, I was done with high school. I used to have some weird <laughs> dreams about college papers. I was. I used to put everything off the last minute, so I have weird dreams about that. So the no pants, the math test. It's funny that they hit on some of the dreams that I think happen to to everybody. Um, but another good episode. For all his training, it shows us that Aang is still very nervous. Um, you know, Toph and, uh, and Katara and and Sokka seem like they're just, you know, they, they know that the work has been put in. It's going to come uh, one way or the other, and they're just resting up for it. But, you know, Aang's, look, he's the avatar. He's got the whole yep, world on sitting him. on his shoulders and, and relying on him. So different, but uh, it's, a, it's different for him, rather. But... I'm excited to see what the next episode brings, man. Oh. It's just halfway <laughs> oh, through the second. Yeah, the, 
the next episode is going to be the the big eclipse and we're going to see how that works out for everyone because that's a that's a pretty big pretty big deal to them because this is what they've been planning for this whole time was this eclipse mm -hmm. that i believe that they find it back in season one or in book one yet or early book two so they've known for about it for a while so yeah so with right. that, we're going to be ready for that eclipse coming up. So for Apple and Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one. Top of the morning, Momo. Oh, he finally got some sleep. Gonna get your glow on and hit him with a little Avatar State action? My seventh chakra was locked, cutting off my connection to all the cosmic energy in the universe. What? Oh. Do you think the fog will delay the invasion? That is the invasion. All right, here's our team. <laughs> and that's a nice way to make <laughs> some fears. <laughs> Were you able to locate everyone I told you to find? Some of these men aren't exactly the one. <laughs> <type. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Swamp guys. Is it just me or are those fellas a little loose in the leaf hat? I just wish they would wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Haru, it's so good to see you. Now we're here to help you. Oh, that's our voice of Saravak again. You guys here for a rematch? Negatory! We fight for our kingdom! Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Everybody's back. <laughs> oh, there's our guy. Oh, this guy. Cool. <laughs> Were you able to complete work on the plans I sent you? I think the Fire Nation will be quite surprised. Oh, oh the... what do we got going on here? Is he going to have his airship? Whoa. New and improved. New I added a snack compartment. <laughs> Breakfast. I snuck in some white JT. Thank you, Ming. You'll do great. <laughs> Speech time! Today, we're invading the Fire Nation. The Fire Lord's palace is here. Uh, wait, uh, wait, it's here. <laughs> and Aang's gonna fight the Fire Lord! That's good for us! Let me start at the beginning. Come on, Sokka, get it together. was in an iceberg. Now, I didn't like Aang at first, but I grew to love him over time. He says beginning, but Aang's the beginning. <laughs> Thank you, Sokka. There are two steps to the invasion, a naval stage and then a land stage. We must fight past their battlements and secure the plaza tower. At that point, the eclipse will begin. The eclipse only lasts eight minutes. When this is finished, the Avatar will have defeated the Fire Lord. And this war will be over. Mm, Sokka doesn't look so sure there, does he? Oh, she's getting all geared up. Oh, they get battle armor for Appa? Oh, yeah. oh God. Look at that. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, that is so bad. Yeah. We got the sheeps. Okay, and the sheep, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's he up to? I messed up, Aang. I just fell apart. That was just public speaking, and nobody's really good at that. My dad is. <laughs> Your moment of truth isn't going to be in front of some map. The great gates of Azula. You and the swamp benders whip up a fog cover. Yes, yeah, I was gonna say, they can definitely use the fog to their advantage. We're almost through. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, nets. Flaming nets, even worse. That is obnoxiously badass. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a little bit. What? Need to figure out something. Oh, they got jet skis? Hell yeah, they got <laughs> jet skis. Oh, what's the invention? It's gotta be the air balloons, right? From before. Where'd they go? What? Submarines? Submarines. Submarines. Come Good on. Ad. <laughs> you really have <laughs> done yourself. <laughs> you managed to invent a worse way of travel than flying. Ooh. Um, the subs have a limited air supply. We'll need to resurface. I brought you an extra bowl of rice. That voice is familiar. Mm, very. I think you should take the rest of the day off. You don't look well. well. We'll let the folks in the comments tell us. It is better that you are not here this afternoon. Slender and all. Are you ready for the Fire Nation to know the Avatar is alive? I'm ready. Oh, the old forearm. <laughs> Everyone, listen up. The next time we resurface, it'll be on the beaches. 
I'm really proud of you. What if I don't come back? Don't say that. Of course he'll. <sighs> Finally. Oh, she <laughs> blushed for once. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can we get like a battle oppa action figure? Oh, <laughs> I'm sure there is. Got to have them. I need a battle oppa. <laughs> I'm sorry, May. <laughs> it did come in handy. <laughs> you knew damn well he was, well was going like to use kibble it. dog food <laughs> in there or what? <laughs> Granola maybe. Earthbenders, into your tanks. Uh, this is going to be a rough ride. Sneaky warfare. No, oh, that's not good. Ooh. Okay. Or oh, there's that. Oh, they got him. I got one of them. Or oh, there's that. The old hit with the water jet. Ready the torpedo. Ooh, Ooh. we got ice <laughs> torpedoes. Oh, that's cool. And just can fit. <laughs> oh, they made it past. Yeah. Hey, Harry, you're a terrible <laughs> shot. Gosh, it's all... Oh, it's, what? Oh, that. It's rolling out of the... Like, armored cover. Mm. What are those guys? <laughs> like, guys it's a the, skateboard. The guys with the massive quads from pushing the train. That'll do it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Uh, ah, those stupid things. things. Yeah, well, remember who can... Uh, Whoa, oh, what like, is that? It's like a centipede. Oh, it's like, oh. It's like a, a tank, basically, with three different sections. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. oh. Remember you and the yep. big old shambling mound of swamp. Where you been? Takes a while to collect this much seaweed. Whoop! <laughs> Close it up. Uh. Oh. Well, could have been worse. Alright, we're Saka, we can losing a little bit of ground. Yep. I've got an idea. Yep, that sword'll cut through anything. Watch each other's backs. Oh, it's cut oh, right, right through the whole crossbow. Well, that's a meteorite. Yep. Dad! My dad took a hit. Oblique shot. <laughs> I know I've made some bad choices. I'm going to set things right. He looks like he's setting to leave. I mean, completely. Oh, that's not his Fire Nation uh, military uniform, oh. is it? How does that feel, Dad? The <laughs> old oblique. I need to get back to the troops. You can't fight anymore. I won't let them down. Uh, you have to step up, Sokka. I'll do it. Time to step it up. Yeah. I'll lead the invasion force. I'm proud of you, son. There you go. Yip, yip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want the tanks in wedge formation. Charge! That's strange. Almost too quiet. Hello? Oh. We're on our way to victory. That doesn't look good. No, it's a trap. Fire Lord Ozai! Where are you? Oh, oh here we go. All right, part two. The eclipse. Katara, you seem distracted. Is that Aang? He wasn't home. They knew. He would have a secret bunker. I'm just the girl to find it. Oh, she can feel like all the vibrations yeah. in the ground. We've got about 10 minutes until the full eclipse. It's like, uh, what do they use in Oak Island? LIDAR. <laughs> we can still win the day. It could all be a trap. Whatever you decide, I'm with you. I've got to try. <laughs> Here we go. Find where they're hiding. There's something big, dense, and made of metal deep in the heart of the volcano. We'll be back soon. We'll have to be fast, but careful. Jesus. Oh. It's just a river of lava. Oh, oh no. Oh. No, 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 no. You know, Toph doesn't like that. It's some door. Jeez. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, just take oh. out the whole clip. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. The whole thing falls. Yep. All of them. Retreat! The eclipse is only minutes away. <laughs> the Phylos chamber is that way, down the hall. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you are alive after all. I've known about the invasion for months. Mm hmm. Oops. I'm ready to face you. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? A that challenge for the throne? Question. Oh, here we go. Put on your eclipse glasses. Ah, looking like pitch black. I'm here to tell the truth. The Avatar's not dead. What? I am going to speak my mind. Where's the Fire Lord? Whoa. Oh, well. Uh, well, dust. Daily agents. Ah, that's well, right. Uh, we have to secure the palace by the time the eclipse is over. Ah, oh, those things are cool. Yeah. Surrender peacefully and we won't harm you. Yeah. Uh, okay, we surrender. Who banished me just for talking out of turn? How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? The people of the world are terrified by the Fire Nation. They hate us, and we deserve it. Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? He has. You gotta deal with these guys quick. Oh, shit. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> There you go, Aang. Oh, tell me she gets her comeuppance. Like I've been waiting forever. Whoa! I can't pin her down! <laughs> <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> She's just playing with us. My favorite prisoner used to mention you all the time. Of course, you never came. Fall for it. Where is Suki? I'm gonna free Uncle Iroh from his prison. He's the one who's been a real father to me. Maybe he can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. Wow. I'm going to join the Avatar. Whoa! And I'm going to help him defeat you. Why don't you just do it now? Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Goodbye. Don't you want to know what happened to your mother? Bruh. Oh. Whoa. They're baiting on him, playing on their emotions. My father had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you. Your mother found out and swore she would protect you at any cost. Where's Suki? Sokka, she won't talk. Uh, our friend Pedro and my uh, Treasonous <laughs> things that night. She was banished. So she's alive. Your penalty will be far steeper. Time's up. Whoa! Oh, he's sending it right back! Yeah. Holy shit! He's got it figured out! Sounds like the firebending's back on. No! Oh. Yeah. Dad's all the way at the end of the hall, then down a secret stairway on the left. I used up all our time! Well... I can face the Fire Lord anyway. What we need to do now is go help our friends. I guess you guys are right. I think you gotta face them. What should we do, Hakoda? Expect we're going to see some firebenders any minute. Oh, they got shit, the blimp the technology. My own invention. Yep. Oh, this is terrible. Man, we said that back in the episode when they had them. That is the Fire Nation going to get it. What the hell is that thing? Even bigger. Looks like Bowser. Oh. <laughs> it was all a trap. I'm going to do what I can to slow them down. You and I can help, too. Let's get back to the subs. Well, that'll do. <laughs> there goes that one. one. There nice. goes that one. Ooh, that's gonna go right quick. Off. Let's join the others. Uncle! He ain't hanging around. He busted himself out. He was like a one-man army. Was he an earthbender too and he could bend the metal or what? Try and find cover. I that think or, we're about to see some bombs. That'd be a heck of an explosion when he got out. That's a lot. Why aren't they turning around to attack us again? They're going to destroy the submarines. You kids have to leave. We can't leave you behind. We'll be prisoners. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get by. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Swamp thing. This guy's like playing missile command over here. Oh, no. Yeah, those are done, so that's not good. We tasted victory, and that counts for something. Bye, Dad. Aww. 
Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm gonna make this up to you. They'll be back. I know just the place for us to go where we'll be safe for a while. The Western Air Temple. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. We'll be doing some regrouping. All right. Man, there was. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So there was the battle, guys, and you know they they knew there were common things didn't go as planned. Uh, man, it, Sokka really found his bravery there. I mean, everybody pulled together. The armor on Appa was just outstanding. Badass, Badass, huh? That was tough, and uh, you know all the it's like everything would have worked right to their plan had Princess Azula not. Known because remember she knew about yeah. it a few episodes ago. Yeah, she so man, everything was gonna work. Uh, I feel really bad for Ang on this one. He's got to feel like you let him down twice. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, you know, they all kind of let their their emotions kind of get the best of them when they're dealing with Azula. They should have known. You know, she's just small potatoes. We got a bigger picture to take care of. But uh, you know, again, live and learn and and. Gosh, I hope they can uh, regroup here for the uh, for the second half of uh, season three and get it together and you know rescue everybody because who knows what they're gonna do with uh, with all the uh, other soldiers who were in the battle? Who knows what they're gonna do with them? Use them as bait? I mean, who knows? So I'm interested to see where it ends up. So. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are really getting invested in this because yeah, this is like I had so much fun watching this whole invasion all over again. Is it just seeing the little things and trying to pick up on little things, the little inventions? the submarines then you get to see that you know all the fire nation used his own invention and then obviously went big with it or go home yes, you know with the big did. ships so we'll see if those come into play in any time future but then the nice part is we got to see zuko hijack one and well he's gonna follow along with avatar we'll see where that leads us yeah. i know i oh, i can't wait to just keep this going finally get his arc maybe but you know knowing the number of episodes that we had in this third book uh I figured coming in, like, okay, the day of the Black Sun, it's the battle. Just from that alone, like, okay, well, if they if they win the battle now, then what happens for the rest of the episodes? So I had anticipated there definitely being an extension of this final battle or, you know, kind of their saga on uh, on the chase for a win. But I thought that was really cool. I liked when, um, you know, Sokka felt like he had failed just because he, you know, fumbled a little bit on the battle plan. And, um, and Aang came in and said, you know, basically... The old, you know, actions speak louder than words. It's, you know, it's what you go and do that's going to define who you are as a person and not, you know, how you, how you, you know, verbalize the battle plan. Mm -hmm. So the public speaking thing. Yeah, uh, yeah that's public speaking. The it's public not, speaking thing. And this yeah. is interesting. So the public speaking thing, I recently um, did a, a seminar back when, um, you know, when I was at the Arnold Classic, did a seminar with a guy who's got 6.5 million followers on TikTok over 3 million on Instagram, one of the most famous fitness influencers in the world. He'd never done a public speaking <laughs> ever. And we had a seminar audience of, the thou I don't know, five, just, I don't know, thousands of people. And I had to sit that we did a, a nice, I mean, this is like one of the most genuine human beings you'll ever meet, a guy named Noel Dazel, just, I mean, an incredible person and what a wonderful addition to our little world of bodybuilding and fitness. But anyhow, it's, it was just so interesting that, you know, not long ago, I'm sitting here with somebody who's like one of the most famous people in the entire fitness industry who just has all these great lessons and, you know, brings so much to, to our little world. And, you know, he was, he was just really nervous about public speaking. So uh, it was funny when they say that. Noel knocked it out of the park, instant grand slam, which I, I knew he would. But uh, <laughs> in any regard, it was funny that they bring up public speaking and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that that really, you know, you guys know when you watch the, when, when we watch these, we all kind of try to relate. And whether mm -hmm. it be a movie or the TV show, there's always something that pops in where you're like, wow, that, that relates to me. So um, I thought that was cool. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it was meant to be a lesson or just a plot thing, but, you know, f focusing on, on the princess instead of the job at hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times in life do we have like, this is the main goal and we get hung up on something else and it kind of distracts us from, you know, from really, um, you know, keeping more moving forward towards what, you know, what we really had set out to do. So, I mean, that was interesting. Um, we've been discussing for the first <laughs> 
two and a half books uh, as to whether we were going to see, you know, kind of this redemption from Zuko. It looks like that is on its way. Yep. Um, my question, here's my question, though, and the, the thing that I thought, this was all a big trap, right? So the princess set these guys up with a trap. Is there going to be any kind of trust at all between Aang and Katara and Sokka that Zuko's on their side? I mean, they're going to, I yeah. instinct, you know, instinctually they have to think that this is just going to be another trap. So I can't wait to see what happens in the upcoming episodes. And I am, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the second half of this. Book yeah. And maybe us. uncle Iroh is going to be involved in that. Somehow. Yeah. I, I mean, Oh, they saw him, you know, they were all fighting together for that little bit. So something's going on it, with uncle. Yeah. Iroh. He's so getting he should, jacked. he just knows how to make a He's good pot of tea. Jacked in prison <laughs> on rice and tea busted out of the metal. Yep. And I'm wondering if he's not a little more powerful than we had all initially thought through these first yeah. couple of books. Yeah. I so. think he's going to show up, maybe, uh, give Zuko some, some credibility with uh with our team who knows all right well we shall definitely see so for appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one oh, it's final few chapters Oh, Appa's still in the still, gear. Still in the battle armor. Well, I suppose they were. Yeah, right from look there. at them. They're all. Oh, head sunk defeated. pretty low. Yeah. Lived to fight another day, though, right? Hey, we're here. <laughs> I think your feet need their eyes checked. She's right. Where is it? Is it not an air temple? It's amazing. Oh, no. oh it's below her. It's built upside down. Oh, look at that. Oh. You have a lot of faith in your fascinating oh. equipment for this. <laughs> I was going to say. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, he knew where to go. What are you up to, Prince Zuko? Oh, the old superhero <laughs> landing. <laughs> what a stunning view. First, we'll check each of the air temples. Then we'll scour the world. Just obsessed. The only way to regain my honor is to find the Avatar. You know, I can see, though, as like a, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15-year-old kid, he could become obsessed with that mission. I wonder if there are any secret rooms. There's always secret There's rooms. Gotta be. <laughs> we need to talk about some things. So, what's the new plan? You just need to master all four elements and confront the Fire Lord before the comet comes. Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? Oh. We could look for Jong Jong. Like we'll ever run into Jong Jong again. And so the puzzle pieces start <laughs> coming together. Mm -hmm. Wonder if Prince Zuko was listening. There's got to be someone who can teach him firebending. Zuko here, but I guess you probably already know me. I have a lot of firebending experience. Well, you've seen me. <laughs> I'm good now. I mean, I thought I was good before, but now I realize I was bad. <laughs> I think it's time I joined your group and taught the Avatar firebending. <laughs> Solid speech. <laughs> what would Uncle do? You have to look within yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Will your true self reveal itself? <laughs> it's funny, it's, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> what would Zula do? I can join your group, or I can do something unspeakably them. horrible to you and your friends. I guess I'm not that good at impersonations. Oh, he's got the armor off, so he's a little lighter. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think we should be making some plans about our future. I think that'll have to wait. Oh, oh what an there. entrance. Zuko here. <laughs> he says Zuko here. Are they going to, like, throw everything at him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so op is a good test. Yeah, here, yeah. Right? I've changed. I'm good now. Oh, and I can teach fire bending. There we go. Yeah. I mean, how stupid do you think we are? All you've ever done is try to hunt us down and <laughs> capture Aang. I could have stolen your bison and bossing say, but I set him free. That's something. Oh, that's why Oppa yeah. remembers. Okay. I'm not buying it. I admit I've done some awful things, and I never should have sent that Fire Nation assassin after you. Oh. Uh. That guy locked me and Katara in jail and tried to blow us all up. Why aren't you saying anything? You know I have good in me. Well, Katara mm. had that moment with him in the cave, too. Yeah. You need to get out of here. Then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. We won't! Ooh, don't come back. Wow. Ooh. We'd better not see you again. Gotta learn firebending. Guys, we're running short on options here. Uh, 
What was I thinking? Why didn't I just say Zula did that? They would have believed that. That wasn't the truth. He starts talking about his mother and making it seem like he's an actual human being with feelings. Then he strikes. It's fair. Remember when you two were sick and I got captured by Zhao? And you made us suck on frozen frogs? <laughs> yeah. It was Zuko who came in and got me out. I'm sure he only did it so he could capture you himself. And what was all that crazy stuff about setting Appa free? Actually, he wasn't lying. Oh, she can tell. Yeah. At least he didn't add animal cruelty to the list. <laughs> he could have turned out a lot worse. Mm-hmm. He could be a Zula. Mm -hmm. While he was talking to us, he was sincere. Why would you even try to defend him? Aang needs a firebending teacher. I'm not having Zuko as my teacher. I'm beginning to wonder who's really the blind one around here. Oh, snap. Oh, good point. But I mean, they all have a point too. Like, it, right, they can't just yeah, forget can't about just it. Forget about it and like, it's gonna be that easy to trust him. Oh no. It's gonna be tough. Ow, you burned my feet. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry. Oh no. Let me help you! Ugh, I didn't know it was you! Come back! Oh, man. Uh, Is that gonna impact her earthbending uh, skills? Oh, shit. Well, Katara can probably help her out. Has anyone seen Toph? We can go check for her. Yeah, I wanna ride that tunnel down to the Hall of Statues again. It'll work a lot better now that I fixed my brakes. Ah, uh, you don't need brakes. <laughs> What happened? I kind of went to see Zuko last night. Zuko? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a while for your feet to get better. We're gonna have to go after him. Maybe just invite him back here. Then we'll jump him and really make him our prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the stuff. Oh, oh no. Ah, the Terminator's back. Combustion Man. Well, that's not really his name, but... Isn't it Boom Boom Bang Bang Man or something? <laughs> yeah, that was the other one, yeah. Ah, oh, big save. I won't pay you. Oh, that's not good. It's got to be hanging on, right? Yep. Oh. oh. Wow. <sighs> No effect. He's going to blast this whole place right off the cliffside. I can't get a good enough angle on him from down here. Don't fail me now. Oh, oh got, got him. him. Got him good, that's like, too. A that's like a million to one shot. <laughs> one in a million. Oh, oh he's back up. Shit. <laughs> my little woozy, though. Boomerang. Oh, oh, did he just self implode? He oh. did. Oh, no. I mean, oh, yes. I must have hit the yeah. self destruct button on him with the boomerang. It's like the boomerang worked. Thanks, Zuko. I've been through a lot in the past few years. I had to go through all those things to learn the truth. No one can give you your honor. Mm. It's something you earn for yourself. All I want now is to play my part in ending this war. My destiny is to help you restore balance to the world so I don't hurt people unintentionally. Well, that's what Aang did. Yep. I burned Katara. I never wanted to firebend again. But now I know you understand how easy it is to hurt the people you love. I'd like you to teach me. I'm so happy you've accepted me into your group. Not so fast. <laughs> Toph, what do you think? It'll give me plenty of time to get back at him for burning my feet. Sokka? All I want is to defeat the Fire Lord. Ah, now the big one, though. Yep. Katara? Come on, you know oh, how he's sweating. Sweat. Sweat. She knows what's inside him. I'll go along with whatever you think is right. <laughs> I won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I just give it some time. Yeah. Here you go. Home sweet home. Welcome aboard. Yeah. This is really, really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you will find your own destiny someday. He knew. One slip up, I'll make sure your destiny ends right then and there. Whoa. Oh, snap. Jeez. Oh, Don't mess with her, man. Yeah. Oof. Oh, wow. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, there was episode 11, and we're finally getting to see the redemption arc start to really come into play now for, for Prince Zuko. I mean, hey, we finally got rid of the Terminator, so that's a plus. We don't have that guy. <laughs> Just or, saw the little hit. Or did we? All we saw was the claw come off, so who knows if we see him again. I don't know. 
But uh, no, this was a really fun episode. Uh, I feel like now Aang is going to be able to learn firebending. Uh, and then yeah, we got a, quite a few more episodes to go. So I would imagine we're going to have some more side quests here before we uh, have the culmination of meeting the Fire Lord. But just really good to see uh, Prince Zuko's kind of redemption story. I mean, everybody loves a good redemption story, right? So uh, be looking forward to the rest of the episodes. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun seeing uh, Zuko just like obviously doing what anybody would do, like practice your speech. What am I going to say? How am I going to say it? So it's fun to see him do it with frog thing because you you know every there's only one thing that was one animal in the entire show that's the bear that's the only thing that has just not been a, one not animal and not a, a combination so other than that so it was a frog something but yeah obviously you're gonna have to do that and then you know he had the slip up then with Toph with uh getting her feet but you know he came through in the clutch in the end there so we'll see if it continues yeah, this was a, a really good episode. Uh, as Mason Quinn had said, this is kind of the character arc that we've been waiting for for Zuko. Um, I like his talk about, um, you know, you're the only person that can restore your honor by doing what's right. Um, mm -hmm. So that was a huge lesson. Um, and, and these powerful lessons have been sprinkled all throughout this entire series, but I think that was one of the bigger ones. And then... Um, Obviously, Uncle saying, oh, God, you know, Uncle, isn't he great? Your, your destiny, you know, open your heart, and sometimes your destiny isn't uh, exactly what you think it's going to be, but it's always, you know, it's always going to be right. So, I mean, this was a really powerful episode. Um, it, it's it's so easy to see both sides of this story, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Like Zuko, you know, I've changed, I've changed, and yeah, but you know, how do you mm -hmm. trust somebody like that, especially with what's on the line? And so, you know, you can't really blame Katara or no. or, or the rest of the group for not trusting him. You know, and at this point, all he can do is is prove himself. But uh, you know, early on, I think in the series, we kind of felt like okay, you know, at some point, maybe Zuko's character is gonna is gonna find you know the the path to to do what's right. And this really feels like he finally found it. So. Definitely one of my favorite episodes so far from this entire series. Yeah, it's really good to see him kind of come into his own after being, you know, beat essentially being beaten mm -hmm. down by his own Fire Nation and like yeah. constantly trying to to seek their mm -hmm. approval. And it's like the more he tries, the more they just slap him down. So it's it's good to see, like you said, oh Kim starting to kind of become his own man, like his uncle was trying to teach. Yeah, him. I mean, just I, I mean, I mean, just in general life, like he, he's just out there seeking approval from his like looking. I, I, there shouldn't be anything tighter in this world than, than a family. <laughs> yep. You know, family. But, oh, come on. Look, but sometimes, uh, you know, if, if doing what's right at the end of the day, that's that should be what, um, like Casey said, that's what's earning you your honor. And so it's like he spent all this time just trying to get redemption from his father. But, like, what were if, they ever going to give it to him anyway? Were they ever going to give it to him? And what what are the things that you have to do to get that redemption? I mean, yeah, there's look, there's going to be. I hate to use the word evil. It feels so like in the in the context like the real world. Oh, these yeah. are evil people, but there are evil people out there. Yeah. And if you're trying to earn the approval of people who are just genuinely bad human beings, like what is what is that worth? What is it yeah. worth just in, in in the big picture of life? What is it worth to earn the approval of somebody that's a shitty person? It's not worth anything. It's, I mean, you know, and it's it's so much better. And I don't care how cliche it sounds like to do, to do the right thing. You know, we just just came off, uh, you know, you know, relatively recently watching a a great you know, rom com type movie where they had this banner in the background that said, uh, you know, the, the the doing the right thing isn't always easy, and you know, doing the easy thing isn't always right, and uh, in that lesson we saw here. So I really, really liked this this curve, and you realize like earning his father's approval. Yep is not as important as doing what's right. And that's a, that's a strong lesson. And, um, and I, again, this episode, easily one of my favorites. What I used to think was good was actually bad, but I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. That was one of the great lines, but hey, that was a lot of fun. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. We've only got eight left.